Hi, I'm Bree. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be kind of a two-part video, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a book unhaul, and then we're going to go to some free little libraries because I don't have a ton of books to unhaul, and I think it'd be fun to go around and explore the local ones. I've only been to a couple around here and a couple back in my old hometown, and so I'm just excited to see what's around here. And there's now a free little library app, so I'm going to use that. But let me get to the books. So the first is this series, um, A Curse So Dark and Lonely and A Heart So Fierce and Broken. I enjoyed it when I read it, um, the first one. The second one I didn't like as much, but I just, it just is a little young for me now. And I just found like, I didn't care to complete it. There's, I think, a third one. I just don't think I'll ever finish the series. I just didn't feel like it. Nothing to the series. I just think I've outgrown it a little bit, so I'm going to get rid of those. And then similar for this one, I thought it was okay, but the romance in here wasn't for me. Like, I enjoyed it more in the first one. In the second one, I just felt kind of annoyed with it, and I just didn't care to finish it, even though I was interested in, like, the which stuff that's going on in here. So yeah, it's just I've had this for a while and I haven't even tried to find the third book ever. So I just think I'm gonna get rid of it and not worry about completing it. So this is a book I found, or I had read in school. It is basically a retelling of Withering Heights. It's a Japanese novel, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Japanese novel and it's like that story. But it is a chunker and I, I'm just never going to reread it and it doesn't hold a ton of sentimental value for me. I enjoyed it when I read it but I just don't need to keep it anymore so I'm going to get rid of that. And then in the classics section um, I have Slaughterhouse-Five. I am not, I don't love this edition and I don't think I'm going to reread it so I just kind of want to get rid of it and then if I ever want it again I can get it in the like penguin editions because that's the kind I want to collect so I'm going to get rid of this. So then this one is Gillian Flynn Dark Places. I just have two copies for some reason so I don't need two so I'm going to get rid of this one. And then I've got Americana by Chimanda Ngozi Adichie and I really enjoyed it when I read it but I've heard some things about her being a turf and I just don't need this anymore and I'm, I was never going to really reread it so I'm going to get rid of it. And then the final book is just this Cordially Invited by Zoe Suck. I had bought this a long long time ago but I don't host parties and I just have never opened it like literally never opened it so I'm just going to pass it along to someone who might use it if they like parties and stuff. So yeah. So these are the books I'm going to get rid of and I'm going to take them around to some little free libraries and see what we can find and I will take you along. Hello. So we're at the first free little library but there's a lot of kids playing on the playground. It's like right in front of the playground and then there's like kids over there. So I don't want to film out around it, but I'm just going to film inside it. So that's what you'll see in a second. There's not that many in here. I don't feel like there's anything I want. Oh, that's a little sad. So I think we're going to go to the next one. So we're at the second one. This one has a lot more to... Ooh, I already see one that I think I'm going to take. Where is it? How do we open... <laughs> how do we... How do... Does it slide? Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm going to take this one for sure. Because I like Megan Miranda. And I don't have this one. I like that cover. I think it's a kid's book. Mm -hmm. Got some Sarah J. Mayer. Where children are. Interesting. Well. I think I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna leave Slaughterhouse 5. 
but I am interested in this one. I want to read the back of it. Uh, 1949, Frank Weeks is a CIA person. It looks like it's a spy novel. I don't know. What do you think? Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Not big into the spies. But I found you a book, Noah. Yeah, fish. <laughs> yeah. Catch and release. Catch the energy and release the potential. <laughs> oh, this is not a kid's book. This is like a self-help book. I thought this was a kid's book. <laughs> oh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're at the next one, but there's someone right there. So I was going to talk here. So I might give away this one, but we're going to go look inside. So let's go. I already see one I'm intrigued by. Not because I read this, but because it said garden. It's following different garden people throughout the time. I don't know, I'm not really a... Uh-oh. I don't read a lot of that. Oh, cute. Got some like Lee Child, Neil Gaiman. Oh, I've heard good things about her in this book. I think this might be the first one in the series. Yeah, I think this is the first one, and it's about oh, like a coroner, and she. Solves crimes, but she's a coroner. I think this is the first one. I think I'm gonna get this actually, because if it's not, I did want to read it. But it, the way the back says it sounds gets the last one. We got like some kid books in here. Will you be my Valentine? No. What? No. Come on. It's April, it's not Valentine's season. But you have to. No. Can't make it. Alright, well. I still love you always. <laughs> Just love this little hand. Okay, let's go. of country cooking. There's a Hank Green. I haven't read any Hank Green, but I've heard that that's a good book. Then there's Stephen King Dreamcatcher, but I'm not huge into Stephen King yet, so I don't want to take that. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to take anything, and I might keep this and come back later so that I can see if I have other ones I want to get because I don't have that many to give away, but then I'll come back and leave it if I don't use it. Ooh. 
ladies night. <laughs> I see there's a book of the month book. Instructions for dancing. I don't know if this is a me book. Yeah, it's a romance. What else do we got in here? Sarah Palin. Oh, I already have it, but the girl with the dragon tattoo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've heard good things about this book. Little fires everywhere. I think that's a, it looks like, um, explores the weight of secrets, the nature of art and identity, and the ferocious pull of motherhood. So I don't know if it's a thriller or, but I see it's a TV show. Then there's this one. Rocco. Yeah. Ooh, what about this one? Oh, there's a spider. Room. Oh, this one I've heard. This sounds creepy, but I've heard really good things. It's like they're trapped in a room and you, like, they're basically been like kidnapped mm. and it's like about them. I think I might get that. There's a little can for dog treats in here. Uh oh. See so if you have a dog. And I'll leave. Do you think I should also get little fires everywhere? If you want to, you can. I don't know. I can't tell if I would actually like this because it's not like a thriller thriller. So I think I'll leave it. So it's very windy. Um, so sorry. Um, but I think that I'm going to be done for the day. And I went to a couple on my own. Noah's at home and I'm meeting up with my sister. But I think tomorrow we're going to go to a few more. But I went to like six, I think. And I've had pretty good success. So after I go tomorrow, I'll show you everything that I got. Hello. So it's the next day and we're at our first little free little library. So I'm going to go over and show you. But um, it looks cute. I can already see that there is a... Um, series of a fortune events book in there so i'm intrigued but yeah i have four books left to like give away so hopefully we'll find uh four more books <music> idea what this one is about. Tom Clancy. Cancer. It's a lot of like uh, Lee Child and stuff. But and I 
think this is all like kids books so yeah I think I'm gonna leave and not take anything like a lot of kids books oh is this a poo bear oh oh bear. it's very destroyed though oh this is a victorian mansion flower shop mystery series that feels like for me for sure and there's a dog in it so let's see well I'm gonna leave this one very different from what's in here but that's all I got Was trapped in there. Oh, not a bee. Elf. Oh. I am a true believer. Mm, well, there's nothing in here. Bummer. Should I leave a book though? Just so we can only have one more stuff. Just leave it. Float boat from the Ohio. Thanks, Aaron. This one's like really packed. read this too. Okay, so I got a lot of books actually. I was pleasantly surprised how many I found because I've been to some around here and they tend to be a lot more of like children's books. So I was actually happy that I found a lot of them. Cal, you can't eat the string. No, we don't eat that. So I'll just show you what I got. So the first one, well, I'm not doing this in the order I found them. I just have them in a stack. But the first one I have is Postmortem by Patricia Cornwell. And I've heard good things about this from, I think it's Beth's All Booked. And it's about a, it's a like, series about a coroner and her like dealing with like serial killers and stuff. And I don't know if it's going to be super dark. I know Beth's All Booked, she tends to like darker things. But it just sounds so interesting to me because it's like I followed detectives and stuff, but I haven't followed a coroner really. And yeah, it's just going to be, I think, a good time. And this one is about a uh, trail of stranglings. And the medical examiner is like trying to catch this serial killer who's strangling people. And it just says like following forensic clues and I like detective stuff. So I found that and I was really happy. The next one is a movie and it came out like a long time ago but I never read the book or watched the movie and it's Room um, by 
Emma Donahue. So it's about a five-year-old and his mom and they're in this like room and I think that they have been like kidnapped and have been just in this room for years and it's just like about their like situation and I think it's gonna be really dark and I don't know how well I'll handle it because I don't like super dark but I think I can do it every once in a while so it's like I'm keeping this to pick up when I really have it like I'm in the mood for something really really dark but it has a sticker on the end the edge I'm a little sad about it but oh well it was free obviously so yeah I have that and I'm really excited for it and then I found this one which I'm a little unsure if it's for me or not but I like think it sounds interesting and I've heard really good things about it and that's Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder and this is about a woman I think who like starts to think she's turning into a dog and it's about like motherhood and she's just like kind of going insane and it just sounds really good and this cover is just everything so it's one of those like I think it's supposed to be a horror but I'm really like interested and I was super surprised to find it because I don't really find like newer books in these free little libraries typically yeah I don't know if it's technically horror but I am excited to give this one a try and then the last two are my favorite finds so I really like Megan Miranda and I found the girl from Widow Hills and this is about uh what, what is it about her again so I think it says she was rescued like when she was little and now whatever happened back then is like coming back to light yeah, so she feels like she's being watched and stuff like years later after this. Cause it's a, and the cover says she was rescued but never safe. I'm kind of going into this not knowing too much. But I really liked Megan Miranda's um, All the Missing Girls. And I want to read All the Perfect Strangers. So I'm glad I have this one as well. And then I think she's coming out with another book soon. So yeah, it's just I can tell she's an author that like even though her books might not be like new five stars for me. They're good thrillers that I will enjoy. Kaladin, please know. And the last one is definitely like 15th in a series, but I had to get it and I'm like for sure going to try to read the series. And it's Cozy Mystery Series. This one's called A Cultivated Crime, but it's a Victorian mansion flower shop mystery. I mean, all the keywords for me are, they hit it. Victorian mansion, yep. Flower shop, yep. And a mystery. Great. And a cozy mystery at that. So super short. And also there's a dog on the cover. So had to get it. I don't want to really go into this one too much, but it's something about uh, someone dies. Uh, because I want to maybe read it in order. So there's like all of the ones that are already in the series. So I'm definitely like the 15th book in the series, but oh well. It looks so cute. And it definitely, I don't know if I need to read it in order. I might end up reading it first and see if the series is for me, but it's very short. It's only 102 pages, so not very long at all. Kaladin, why? Why? Can you just, can you just not right now? These are all the books I found at the little free libraries, which I'm really happy with. So I have two books that I didn't put um, in a box. We had two left and we were at one that was a kid's one and I did not want to put those in because one was like kind of a more smutty book and then the other one was like an entertaining book and I was like, yeah, these can't go in the kids one. If I had a middle grade or something, I would put in there. But so I have two that I'll probably pass out and go Kaladin stop eating everything in the room so yeah those are all the picks and I'm really happy with what I got and it just shows like you can find some really good stuff in these and I'm really thinking about trying to get our apartment complex to let me open a free little library I think that'd be really cool I'd love to know if you use free little libraries is that something like you have a lot of in your community or not really and also I want to say that I used the app for all this and it was actually really nice and you can do check-ins and stuff and so that's fun so you can say if you like got a book or left a book and like and just leave little notes and I think that's really fun but yeah I'd love to know like if you use free little libraries and what's like the best find you've ever had I think for me is probably these two just because like I'm really surprised I found them I can't remember what I found before that but yeah I'd love to know um, what your favorite find is I hope that you enjoyed and if you'd want to subscribe, love that too and I will see you next time.